This is Justine, aka Tono Nemo, bringing to you another vlog. So this is vlog number two for the CVAP workshop. It is currently, time check lang ah, 5.52 a.m. And if before, in my first vlog, kung napanood nyo, I just rolled out of bed. Now, bagong ligo na po ako. So, baka, who knows, next vlog, full get up na ako. And then on the vlog after that, nakapagkape na ako. So, just like in the previous vlog, I'll be talking about what transpired during yesterday's session. So, yesterday was the second day of our workshop. And it was um, composed of, you know, two different, very different topics. So, during the morning, we we discussed more on the technical aspects. Ano siya? Parang more on discussion on like the equipments uh, we will be needing and the softwares we'll be using to edit our voiceovers, our dubbings. Um, and, you know, it's it's mainly for professional um, use. So, yung mga equipments that were uh, mentioned by Sir Josh were um, the ones we will be needing to invest on kung sakaling we want to pursue this um field professionally. So, maraming, ano yun, medyo mahal siya, actually. And actually, medyo Buddha session siya. Like, when he was discussing, I found myself browsing through Shopee and Lazada na, and yung mga, yung mga JV Audio Technica, I was like, ooh, kailangan ko mag-invest dito. But, I, I promised myself na hindi ako masyadong gagastos until um yung mga panggastos ko for those equipments come from like any gigs that I'll be making for this one. So, ayun, yun yung promise ko sa sarili ko right now. Para hindi ako mabudol kasi parati ako nabubudol. But anyway, ayun. Um, I also really like, ay, may out of focus ako. Hello. Ayan. I also really like the part uh, about when he showed us how to use Adobe Audition because, you know, right now I've been using Audacity for some of the works that I do. Well, works parang ang dami. Pero yun nga, for some of the things that I've been doing, like yung assignment from before, I've been using Audacity. Pero yun nga, nung nakita ko yung Adobe Edition, parang wow, sana magkaroon ako ng, you know, enough budget to actually purchase yung monthly subscription. Well, yun nga. Kasi promise ko nga sa sarili ko, diba, that anything that I do or anything that I'll be using for this will be coming from any gigs or you know, projects that I be making. Hopefully, hopefully, magkakaroon ako ah, through voice acting. So, ayun. And then afterwards, we also discuss about yung how to find your niche. Um, and I think it's a good way, diba? I think it's a good way to um, transition to the session for the afternoon. Kasi, um, doon sa finding your niche, it's about, you know, um, trying to see where you want to be as a voice actor. So, what sort of projects would you like to have? Um, what sort of, you know, yung, yung direction mo as a voice act artist. And the key takeaway I've gotten from that is to actually try everything. Like, right now, you may think na meron kang... Um, there's something that you want to do or something you're good at. But, you know, and then... You can't really just shun the other options unless you try it. Kasi malay mo, in the end, makita mo na, ay, magaling pala ako dito, or ay, masaya pala to. I want these sorts of jobs then. So, ayun. And then, during the afternoon session, we had this talk with Direk Raymar. Um, and during that time, parang he introduced about, you know, uh, the aspects of dubbing. And how you know, in dubbing, it's not just about being good at imitating a certain character because you have to bring this character to life. So, kung magaling ka mag-imitate kay Stitch, hindi mo pwedeng basta ibigay lang sa si Stitch kasi meron ng taong gumagawa ng Stitch. Marami ng tao na gumagawa kay Stitch. But then, like, you have to create another character, right? Even if you're you're using Stitch's voice, you have to create another character. So, you have to know who that character is personally, on a personal level. You have to know his motivations, di ba? Kung nasaan siya. 
who is he talking to? Is it a friend? Is it a loved one? Etc. Um, so, it's very eye-opening because the, the authenticity of the lines you will be saying will depend on that. And um, he also like showed us some of the works he did. Sobrang amazing actually. Kasi yung range niya napakalawak from like a small boy to like sobrang tandang tao from medyo kikimikimi na character to the very like leader na nakikita natin sa mga movies and films. Like sobrang awesome talaga. And he provided some really useful of advice for beginner dubbers who plan to go inside the dubbing booth. Kasi honestly feeling ko rin, if ever I'm inside the dubbing booth, talagang nerves will get to me. Kasi ang daming nakatingin ko sa kali. And you're very, like, the directors or, like, the people there will be observing you and then, like, seeing kung, kung kritikin ko ano yung ginagawa mo. But you just really need to be open to it. At the end of the day, we're there to improve, right? We're there to show what we have and then to improve on the things na nakikita. So, everything should be a learning process. Hindi yun attack to you, but then, like, it's a way, like, you can... You have to change your mindset in a way na, you know, it's supposed to be something good in the end. So, ayun. So, that's it for the day two. <laughs> Medyo ano ako ngayon. Medyo sabog. <laughs> Kahit bagong ligo ako. So, ayun. I hope you enjoyed it. Anyway, thank you guys for listening. And see you in the next vlog. Bye-bye.